I'm happy with Legal Match because it is a service that provides warm leads. People who contact me through Legal Match are interested in hiring an attorney. More often than not, a conversation ends up in me actually taking on a client as opposed to just sort of your standard networking and talking to a friend of a friend. People are actually looking to engage an attorney and pay for that service. Legal Match has really made my business possible during the pandemic. The online format has been fantastic and at, at a reasonable price, if I get one or two leads that turn into clients in a month, then uh, the service is paying for itself. And I find that I get something close to 200 uh, prospective leads per month. It's really been good at having a place where I can go online and find prospective clients, read a little bit about what their situation is. It's very easy to weed out something that, that is not appropriate for my practice and archive it, know that another attorney may be able to help them. And I've really been able to practice out of my home office here and maintain you know, social distance and everything because of the online format. It's just been very easy to work with. I like that there's a more, uh, there's a mobile app so I can sit at my kitchen table and while well, the kids are watching TV and answer, you know, prospective leads from a large handful of clients just in a short amount of time. I like that there is constant follow-up by the customer service folks at Legal Match. As a busy attorney, I need constant reminders. I'm a solo practitioner, so I don't have secretary, assistants, paralegal, any of that helping me keep up on my practice. So if I haven't logged in in a while, or if a client has an issue, they're easy to contact and they, they stay on top of me, which is good. Every day I get several texts, emails, the notifications come through in a couple of different formats. They come through on my phone, they come through on my computer. And I'll confess it was a little overwhelming at first, but again, as a small business, too much work is better than no work at all. I'd say it's about a third. Some people I reach out to and, and they don't respond or they hire somebody else after they talk to a couple of different attorneys. Uh, but by and large, the, the conversations are, are very positive. And I have an initial consultation where I talk to somebody for up to half an hour for free. Uh, I quote them what my hourly rate is or what the flat fee is that I believe I would charge in their case and people have been able to send me payments online as well and it's worked out very well. It's a warm lead system. People are actually looking to hire an attorney. I've worked with a couple of other systems before where people were looking for something free or something discounted because they were coming through the service and people that come through Legal Match are uh, expecting to pay an attorney their full hourly rate. I probably could be doing more, honestly. I think the most important thing is to stay on top of the leads as they come in. It's really for a younger attorney that's used to working on a laptop and a cell phone, it's a good service because if you respond quickly when you see the notification come in, you're more likely to get the client. Stay in contact with your client, with your representative, I should say with your customer service representative through the site. I have had one or two hiccups of just getting set up on the service that they were able to handle very quickly. Pay attention to what clients say when they make a review of you on the site. And again, the customer service folks can help with following up if you get a negative review or something to clear that up. I did have one negative review that was posted by accident and the customer service folks reached out to 
a client. She said, oh, she actually meant to post a positive review, but she had a computer issue and it just went into the system wrong. So uh, the other thing is that Legal Match is very flexible in how you get notifications from the site. If you're somebody that's used to working in email, you can send it to you by email. If you're somebody that's used to receiving texts, it can send you by text or it can send it to you through the app. If you don't want to be overwhelmed by getting the same notification in multiple formats, work with your customer service representative to limit how the referrals come in to the format that you're paying the most attention to. And then that way, if you're not seeing it pop up two, three places at once, that works for some people. Again, for me, I leave all the notifications on all the areas of Legal Match because I know that I need the prompting and that keeps me moving along. But perhaps for somebody else, one of the ways you may get the most out of it is tailoring the format to how you do business. Do it. You've got an instant outreach to the general public. You have some cost. But again, is usually one lead that turns into a client per month will cause the service to pay for itself. When you look at the startup costs of a law firm, the cost of legal match per month is not a hardship and it will generate business. And eventually it will help you get your name out there to where clients who have met you on legal match are referring other clients. So it's a way to generate that initial business that is going to get your name out there. Make sure you set up your profile on Legal Match. I recommend setting up an independent website for yourself as well. I did. And then it's something that I can send to my Legal Match clients when I send a response to where they can know a little bit more about me and my background before we have an initial phone call. There are many different features on the site as far as how you can let people know about your fees or not upfront. I have opted to let every client have an initial free half hour consultation. Most clients will expect that. And don't think that the leads are going to be generating paid consultations off the bat. You should be willing to talk to somebody at least for 15 minutes, maybe for half an hour, find out about their situation and then quote them a fee. So while there is functionality in the app and in the website to say, these are my fees up front, I don't think it's good marketing to do that. Clients want to know you and know that you are interested in their case and then they will be willing to pay you.